What's up? It's Daniel here at Dronefly with Angud and Trayvon from Brink. Angud, tell us the scenario that we're going to go through today. Um, imagine that you have a commercial building and the security alarm goes off and there is somebody in that warehouse and they need to understand why is that person there? What are they doing? Are they a threat? Are they armed? Are they dangerous? Imagine there's a ton of unknowns. The Brink Lemur S drone that we're going to be running through this scenario today goes in first. Well, all right, let's see this drone in action. Let's do it. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so, so Trayvon's our pilot, and uh, Trayvon in this situation would be standing outside of the structure. So first responders show up on scene, put it in the air, and then fly into the structure. So typically the door is open, or if the door is not open, they will break the glass or they'll breach the structure and then allow the drone to enter. So we go in there, and what if it's dark? So the drone has night vision. You flip a switch on the hand controller and it has these two um, infrared illuminators and that allows us to see about 20, 30 feet in front of the drone in a pitch black environment. It's going to go down the hallway. They'll see that, hey, there, there looks like there's a door to the left. They're gonna go ahead and they're gonna fly into the room and they're gonna fly around and they're gonna do what is called clearing that room. On the base of the system, all of the accessories work with the Picatinny rail with integrated power. So for example, we first have these powerful white lights. The accessories button allows you to turn on the lights if they were on the base of the drone. And they say, okay, this looks safe. Let's go out and let's go to the next room. Turn off the lights. Now they go back out into the hallway. They go to, you know, down the hallway a bit more. They see that there's another room. They enter that room. And now, in the second room, we're going to see that there is an individual in this room. And now the drone is going to find a place to perch. They're going to turn the motors off, and I just go ahead and I give it a call. And so it's dialing the Lemur S drone, and I put it to my ear and have a conversation. And so now a negotiator outside the building or a first responder that's, you know, looking through the drone can have a communication and understand what that situation is and how to enable the most peaceful outcome possible. Well, thank you guys so much for coming here, doing this demonstration for us. We really appreciate it. I learned so much today. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you having us here. Obviously, this is something that is pretty powerful and has the ability to change the way that first responders and uh, you know, do their tactics. And, and this is something that as long as it makes the entire community safer and the entire community more transparent, I think it's a good thing. Absolutely. Well, it's Daniel here at Dronefly with Angad and Trayvon from Brink. We'll see you next time.